Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is another video in our top 10 of the most asked questions about Windows 10. So a lot of you have been asking how come I get uh, new builds, I get new versions of what is going to happen in the future of Windows. Well, this has to do with something called the Windows Insider Program. The Windows Insider Program is built around uh, enthusiasts. People like you and me, but that just love PCs and computers in general. And you can actually sign up for free. You need a Microsoft account and you can test out different versions of Windows 10. So what exactly can you test out? Well, in an example here, this machine is on the fast ring. This one is testing what is 20H1, builds that will happen early next year. Now you have different rings that are available. What you need to do is go to your settings and go into the update tab. So when you go into your settings, you're going to update and security. And of course, on the left side here, you will on the bottom left see Windows Insider Program. If you click here, this will give you access to the Windows Insider Program. You can start and by starting, you will actually have choices of different um, rings you will have fast ring slow ring and you'll have release preview fast ring is what gives us the most frequent builds they are for a version of windows right now that is early 2020 and it's of course also the most buggy one so that means if you don't like to have computer problems uh, well, maybe the fast ring isn't for you. If you don't mind, if you don't mind that maybe sometimes you need to reinstall and you really want to see the new features coming, uh, you know, ahead of time, well, fast ring is for you. And um, then there's slow ring. Slow ring is less of a uh, problem for bugs. It's still an insider ring. So remember that you're testing out new versions of Windows. This one right now, is testing out a variant of what is the November 2019 update. And you have release preview that is supposed to be the most, um, I would say the, the one that you should feel the safest for bug problems, but you're still testing out. So that means you still could have bugs. So if the word bugs is something that you have a lot of problems with in computers, stay away from the insider program. Um, you are also, um, you got to understand that the insider program is not for everybody. If you are having, if you don't know how to reinstall windows, the insider program is not for you. If you install windows, if you like to play around with new features, maybe the insider program could be for you and you'll be helping out for the future of windows. And, uh, last but not least, do not dedicate a computer that is the main PC you're using every day to the insider program. Best is if you have an extra PC that you can test out. And uh, that is the best because you can use like that spare computer that you've not used for a while, dedicated to the insider program. And at least if something goes wrong, you're not going to stop working. So that's uh, what it is all about. If you want to learn more about it, I have a channel, which is the Windows Insider channel, where we talk about different things happening on the Insider program. So you can check that out also. And uh, the link to that channel will be in the description below the video. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.